guys, welcome to Stratford. I'm Michael, London Viewpoints on Instagram, and today I'm gonna to be testing the latest Nikon 14 to 30 lens and what's it like to vlog on it. So I just have the camera on the Gorilla Pod. I've got the stabilization of the body on. The lens doesn't have stabilization, so let's just see what it's like. I'm not just gonna be walking around testing the camera. We're going to this cool skyscraper. My friend Frank organized a small meetup for a group of friends that we get a chance to explore some of the apartments and the rooftop space. So yeah, should be fun. First up, we're heading to the roof because where else would you go? Excuse me. The view in here is pretty spectacular, I must say. So as you can see, this rooftop is exclusive access stuff. What Frank was able to organize for us friends here is pretty special, because not even residents will be able to access this roof when the building opens to the public. The roof had 360 degree views, but it was this composition along the Union Canal towards the city that was my favorite. But the view towards Canary Wharf and all around Stratford was beautiful too. And of course, at places like this, safety is paramount. So I know that Frank invited the people he know, he trusts. No one's gonna be doing city stuff in here, so we're good. And while the sun was still high in the sky, we took a short break to check out one of the apartments. Slow me, slow mo. MTV Cribs intro. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Yeah. <laughs> what time is Chef coming? Oh, yeah. So we are on the 29th floor in one of the top apartments in the building. The views in here from the Juliet balconies are phenomenal. Just imagine living with a view like that. What an absolute dream. Yeah, this is as much as I urbex. Kids, don't do it. It's just silly. Too many numbers. <laughs> I'm trying to get my bald head in it, please. So we are now on the ninth floor terrace. I think this is gonna be for all the residents that live within the building. Still pretty good views in here. Uh, nice landscaping. Nice place to just enjoy a golden hour sunset. Charles is rushing everyone to get back to the rooftop because he got the time-lapse camera set up there and I think he wanted to set up another one. So let me show you what Charles is doing in a moment. And we're now back on the 30th floor roof just in time for the golden hour. And here's Charles, hard at work setting up a time-lapse. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I think Charles, both hemispheres on Instagram, needs no introduction. But let me just show you, what is Charles up to today? All right, so this is a Sony a7 II with a Nikon 7200 uh, lens on it, and it's gonna be pointing and locked on the city. Catch the sunset, which should look pretty cool because of all the reflections and stuff. This camera here will be a motion control panning from Canary Wharf 
over to the city, hopefully landing on it just as the sky turns purple. It should be awesome. And for those of you who, for some reason, have not heard me mentioning Charles as the time-lapse guru, well, he is. I've learned an absolute ton from Charles, and if you want to learn some more, you have to follow both hemispheres on Instagram, and I hope YouTube soon, right? Yeah? Uh, yeah. yeah, soon. introduced to James. James runs the account London from the rooftops and I have to admit James has been one of the inspirational accounts when I started my account. So James can you tell us what actually inspired you to run your account? 15 years ago I grew up um, actually as a pirate radio fan so I knew that you know my music was coming from the, the rooftops of, of um, London's tower blocks. So for me in the early days 15 to 20 years ago I just wanted to go and get the views that my music had where it's being broadcast from. That's how it started. Pirate radio, basically. And then it sort of grew from there and it became a bit more serious and artistic. And now here we are in Stratford. Queuing up all the way, trying to rob you. Just, just getting into the club and then people try to rob you in the club as well. This is Stratford back in the day. And Frank here is one of the organizers, the host of this event today. Where can we follow your stuff, Frank? FBAS.co, Frank the Silver. actually find myself trying to get too many things at a time do a time lapse do a video from where I am take some photos and this lens the 1430 makes it quite easy because I've got the range I've got the 14 mil wide angle lens I've got the 30 mil I can shoot autofocus video so I don't have to spend time on focusing as well as just shoot the photos that I want so it is a relief working just with one lens and that was the challenge that I set myself today and um, yeah I'm pretty pleased how it's working out the sun just went down and we're starting to see some beautiful colors happening just above the skyline When pink appears, photographers shall not be disturbed. This is a sacred time. I mean, that pink was stunning. I took the privilege to uh, change the lens to my other favorite, 105 1.4 nickel, just to snap a few photos. was the moments of silence when everyone was focused on their photos, when the pink was happening, it was silent. And even though this was May, as soon as the sun hit behind the horizon, the temperature dropped drastically. We should just be better prepared. That's true, that's true. Yeah. We're coming on the rooftop for two to three hours. Hence, you should always consider packing an extra layer two for such eventuality. And as our rooftop visit is coming here to a close, I would like to thank Frank for organizing this meetup with Get Living London because the view that we got in here is very special. You otherwise don't get access to this rooftop, even if you're going to become a resident of this building. So thanks, Frank, and thank you to Get Living London. That's it, us done, heading down for a drink. Yes. And that will be it. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and the real life kind of review of what the 14 to 30 millimeter lens is like when it comes to a video scenario or a vlog scenario. How does the autofocusing work? If this video was of value to you, please leave a like and comment. That's it for now. See you guys later.